I'm going to read the poem. It's called Anti Short Story. And I you don't have it. It's from, well, you're going to have to hear it, but it's pretty easy to hear. Uh oh, says Laney. All right, here it is Anti Short Story. A girl is running. Don't tell me she's running for her bus. All that aside. Okay, here it is again. Anti-short story, which really tells you the whole ideology here. A girl is running. Don't tell me she's running for her best bus. Running is running for her bus is in quotes. All that aside. All right, lightning round. Dave Poplar, quick. You're first, and Sophia's on deck. I just love Don't Tell Me, a poem, which is, uh, it seems like so much uh, traditional poetry is, is following. It's following a form, and it's trying to do something within a form. And just saying, don't tell me, is really, really profound. Beautiful. Thank you, Dave. Sophia, lightning round. Needs a mic. <laughs> um. What I really love about this poem is that we can just have a girl be running and that can be poetry. Mm. That is lightning round. Love that. A good model. <laughs> Herm? It's a blue note. Oh, I think you do need to have to explain that. So it's a blue note because it's dissonant. Yeah. Yeah. The poem and the scene. Nice. Thank you. Liz? I don't know. I think, it, I mean, obviously it's a f refusal of narrative, but also just a refusal of explanation. It makes me think about Stein saying, never apologize, never explain. Like, mm. don't don't tell me what the purpose is. You mm. know, like, mm. put that aside. Then we mm. get poetry. It's really a formative little piece that Ray wrote, you know, to get herself set up for a life of poems that imply that. Um, Anna and then Robin Cohn. Had an exchange with a high school student yesterday uh, after reading Dickinson poems where the kid, a little frustrated, said, why can't she just say what she means? Fair. I get it. But I responded, isn't it so much more fun to do the work? And I've heard you say that before. In fact, 12, 11 years ago when we made the videos, <laughs> it's exactly what you kept saying. Isn't it more fun yes. to do the work? And you've done the work. So thank you for that. Uh, Robin Cohn, Robin, would you stand up? I'm about to out you as the voice of the Baroness. Was it nine years ago or ten? Is that true? D are you were the voice I, of the Baroness? Yes, so not Mandana. It was. Yeah, I thought it was Mandana. One day we get a call in a webcast, and you on the phone, and you. I said, "Who's calling?" You said, "It's the Baroness." <laughs> And Robin did this fab, I mean, the bar it, you did it with a British accent, and the Baroness definitely I, had a German I accent. I tried but German, I couldn't really do it. Not that I could do the British just, very well either. But you stayed in character. It was so cool. And then when I came down to Florida, to West Palm Beach, we had a little uh, close reading. You came to that too, and this is the second time I'm meeting you, I think. So thanks. Thanks for coming Thank all this you. way. Thank you for Modpo. Yeah. For making me step outside my comfort zone and... Um, uh, teaching us that there aren't necessarily rules to follow and we can make our, make our own rules. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Do you want to respond to Ray, Ray Armitrout? Well, I can't, that's how that struck me. Don't tell, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me the way it's supposed to be. Kind of. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, kind of there's a Laureen Niedeker fuck off sort of. <laughs> Tracy? I have a thought. It's a little bit outside of the... That. Please, please. It's, it's, um, people often say, don't tell me when they want to be the one to say it. Like, don't ruin the surprise. Wait, don't tell me, don't tell me. She's running for the bus. Like, it could be a, a relationship with joy. That's, that's yeah. what I, that's what yeah. also why I heard as a, as a possible emotion. Especially because so. when you see a girl running for the bus, you worry that she's fleeing something. And that draws, that creates a whole social narrative that Ray is saying, don't. Don't, we Don't got assume. some work to do, as Anna said. Okay. Well, put expectations aside. Right. right. Yeah. And all that aside is also the tradition of the short story, which, mm -hmm. which tells mm -hmm. instead of shows. Up with poetry, down with short stories. <laughs> Sorry about that. Does Dan have something? Dan says... Oh, wait, we don't have a mic. Oh, shout. but no, right. don't shout. Amber Rose okay. has got it. Thank you. Dan says, all that aside could be the motto for struggling with autism. <laughs>